how the Game of Thrones characters should really look. Uh, without all the blood, maybe? Over six seasons, the Game of Thrones TV series, based on a series of novels, A Song of Ice and Fire, managed to break lots of records and set new rules for television series to come. It collected millions of loyal fans who seemed to know absolutely everything about the inhabitants of the Seven Kingdoms. However, not all the fans realize that many of the screen images are far from the book's original creations. Let's find out how the characters created by George R. R. Martin should look. Daenerys Targaryen It's completely impossible to imagine someone else playing the role of Daenerys instead of Amelia Clark, right? She did a wonderful job portraying the mother of dragons, and her journey from being innocent and a bit naive teenager to becoming a strong and independent leader. But is her visual image right according to the books? Hmm, let's see. On the book's pages, Daenerys Stormborn is a true beauty with a classic Valerian appearance, silver hair and violet eyes. So beautiful? Check. Silver hair? Check. Violet eyes? Not so much. Plus, Daenerys spent a significant amount of time being bold in A Clash of Kings book. Apart from these little details, Game of Thrones stuck to the original image of Daenerys perfectly. Jon Snow You know nothing, Jon Snow. Jon Knows Nothing Snow is one of the most beloved characters from Game of Thrones series. Fans all around the world quickly fell in love with the sweet and chivalrous Ned Stark's bastard son well played by Kit Harington. So, are there any differences between the appearances of Jon Snow from TV and Jon Snow from the books? Mm, just a couple of small ones. According to the books, Jon Snow looked more like Stark than any of his half-brothers. The future Lord Commander of the Watch was presented to the reader as a dark-haired, gray-eyed young man. So, apart from the eye color, Jon Snow from the series is pretty similar to the original description. Bran Stark Bran Stark, played in the series by Isaac Hempstead Wright, is the second youngest child in the big Stark family. We all know his story in the series, but surprisingly enough, his TV appearance is completely different from the books. You see, while writing the books, George R. R. Martin decided that Bran, as well as all of his blood brothers, would inherit his mother's appearance – dark blue eyes and reddish-brown hair. However, in the series, only Sansa has obvious Catalan's features. Other Stark children look more like their father. So, do you think that Bronn taking more after Catalan would look better in the series? Tell us in the comments! Ygritte One of the most memorable Game of Thrones characters is Ygritte, an amazingly skilled archer and a woman who pointed out that Jon Snow actually knows nothing first. According to the book, Jon Snow's only love has features that are quite different from the screen image. Bright red scruffy hair, a snub nose, two far apart eyes, and slightly crooked teeth. So, it's safe to say that Rose Leslie is a much more attractive version of Ygritte. Still, her portrayal of the character looks convincingly lively and authentic, no matter the physical differences. Tywin Lannister Tywin Lannister is one of the wealthiest and most high-powered people in the Game of Thrones world. He doesn't appear in the series that much, but it's still interesting to see his silent power and confidence, as well as follow his relationships with his children. But what about his book appearance? Is it portrayed correctly in the series? Well, in the books, the head of the House of Lannister was conceived as the tall man who has a mustache, beard, thick sideburns, and a clean-shaven head. So Charles Dance is almost visually perfect in the series. There's just a couple of details missing. Tyrion the Imp Lannister It's hard to forget Tyrion Lannister. He is the youngest son of Tywin and one of the coolest characters not only in Game of Thrones, but in the history of television as well. If we talk about his overall look in the series, it's way different from the book version. To match the source, Peter Dinklish's hair should be whitish, one eye should be black, and the other green. Now, according to the book, after the Battle of Blackwater Bay, Tyrion lost three quarters of his nose and a part of his lip, but the producers decided to confine themselves to just scars on his face. So, how do you like this version of Tyrion? 
we think that his charisma would have made him one of the most adored characters of the series anyway. Tommen Baratheon Tommen Baratheon is the youngest child of King Robert Baratheon and Queen Cersei Lannister. He is a good-hearted, very tender and kind boy. This character was played by two different people in the series. For the first two seasons it was Callum Wari, and later his place was taken by Dean Charles Chapman. So, how exactly should Tommen look according to the books? Well, King Tommen should have appeared before the viewers as a plump boy with emerald green eyes and golden curls. So, as it turns out, TV series Tommen is not that far away from the book's version. Good job, HBO! Theon Greyjoy Now, let's talk about the members of the Greyjoy family. Let's start with Theon, shall we? As most of you probably remember, he is the only living son of the Lord Balon Greyjoy of the Iron Islands and was raised by Starks as a ward. So what about his original looks? In contrast with the TV version, the book presents the heir of the Iron Islands as a dark-skinned and dark-haired man. After he was tortured by probably the most despicable person in the whole series, Ramsay Bolton, who we will talk about a bit later too. His hair turned white, and he lost some of his fingers, toes, teeth, and other quite valuable thing as well. Alfie Allen, who plays Theon in the series, has a lighter skin and hair and a better after-torture look, but no matter the differences, he still plays the character perfectly. Yara Asha Greyjoy Yara is Theon's sister and Balan's choice as an heir to the Iron Island's throne. She's an incredible captain, who commands a crew full of men and a strong independent woman. In the TV series, Theon's sister changed not only her name, Asha to Yara, but also a little bit of her appearance. She should have had short dark hair, a sharp and large nose, and weathered skin on her face. Writers explain the name change later saying that the producers of the series decided to rename the character Yara to avoid the confusion with the other character called Osha. There are some other details of Yara's appearance that aren't that close to the book image as well, but it's still nothing extremely critical. Euron Crozai Greyjoy Euron is Theon and Yara's uncle, who killed their father and claimed the throne. In the facial features of Euron from the TV series, we can hardly recognize his book version. According to George R. R. Martin, he should have been a brunette with a neat beard, with his right eye blue, and the left one covered with a leather patch. So we see a bit lighter version of the character on the screen. No eye patch or black beard. The portrayal of the character is still authentic, of course. But do you think that the book's version is better? Share your opinions in the comments. Brienne of Tarth Brienne is one of the most fascinating characters in the Game of Thrones universe. She's the only daughter of Lord Selwyn Tarth. She's unfeminine and considered to be unattractive by the Restorosti standards. Of course, in the TV series, Brienne was often jeered at because of her unusual appearance and lack of ladiness. But there, she doesn't even have the big mouth, crooked teeth, and freckled face as her character in the book does. So once again, Gwendolyn Christie is actually way too pretty for books Brienne. Oberyn the Red Viper Martell It's hard to forget Oberyn Martell from Game of Thrones, especially if you already got to the end of season 4, right? In the series, he was played by the charismatic Pedro Pascal. But does his appearance match the book's one? Let's see. In the books, Oberyn is described as an exceptional fighter who is quite hot-headed but smart. He has black eyes, sharp nose, and long black hair. So Pedro Pascal as the Prince of Dorn corresponds to the book description pretty well, yet his hair should be slightly longer and graying. Ramsay Bolton Ramsay Bolton, exceptionally played by Ewan Rian, is without a doubt one of the most hated characters in Game of Thrones. If you just started watching the series, and think there can't be anybody worse than Joffrey, you're in for a big surprise. So Ramsay is the bastard son of the Roost Bolton. In the books, the author tried to make Ramsay's appearance as awful and unpleasant as the character's personality. According to the original idea, 
The skin on his face was pink and pimply, his nose was wide, his mouth small, and his hair long and dry. He had close-set washy eyes, which looked like two fragments of dirty ice. And even though Iwan Rion again makes quite a handsome Bolton, he still did a great job at bringing Ramsey's nasty personality to life. Dario Naharis And now, the biggest surprise of them all, Dario Naharis. He is a former Daenerys advisor and enforcer. This character was again played by two people. Ed Screen started Dario's story in Season 3, and Michael Holzman continued it in Season 4. And none of them were actually close to Dario's original description. In the books, one of the commanders of Daenerys has blue hair and a trident-shaped beard of the same color, while his mustache was painted gold. Yes, that's authentic to the book's Dario Naharis for you. How do you like this look? Don't forget to tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Lancel Lannister Lancel Lannister is the eldest son of Kevin Lannister. As the series continued, his story took quite a turn. He joined the Sparrows religious movement and abandoned his family name, becoming simply Brother Lancel. By the time this happened, and Lancel appealed to the faith of the Seven, his appearance had changed a lot in the book. His hair turned white as chalk, and his face became gray. The creators of the show, however, decided to designate the changes in his life with a new haircut only. But if they didn't make such a decision, Lancel would look like this. What is your all-time favorite character from Game of Thrones and why? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with all your friends. Subscribe to our channel to see more fun videos and always stay on the bright side.